everyone, this is a video for Superhero Blues Violin. This version of violin will have B flats and F naturals, so please make sure that you are looking at this version with violin on the top left. So before we get started, I just want to make sure that we have a good handle on the B flats and F natural notes. I also want to make sure that we're prepared to do our pizzicato and that we are doing the lifts after each of the phrases. So. Um, as we get started, make sure that your violin's in tune with the music. You've got your music set up as well. Um, we are also going to play along with the music on my end, and we're going to play two times. The first time I'm going to give you instructions and helpful tips, and then the second time I'm not going to say anything, and we're going to play it as it's performed in performance style. Okay, so first we have a B flat and an F natural. So these are low ones on the upper two strings, and we want to make sure that when we're doing this, that we have our finger not on the tape itself, but behind the tape. So that's how we get the low one. So low means whoop away from you in this sense. So it's between the nut and the first tape and your B flat on the A string is gonna sound like this. Okay, so what I want us to do after you've checked that note yourself is I want us to play A twice and then B flat twice. So we're gonna go A, A, B flat, B flat, here we go. One two, three, four. Perfect, so that sounds good to me. Now let's do the same thing on the E string with the F natural. Your F natural is gonna be in the same spot and it's gonna sound like this. So that's on the E string. So now we're gonna go E, B, F natural, F natural. One, two, three, four. Perfect, so you guys are pros at those notes. Now I want us to make sure that we have our pizzicato in the best position. So remember when we're holding our bow with our nice curved thumb, to transition quickly into pizzicato, what I like to do is bring the frog into my palm so that the mother of pearl white side is on the thumb side. Grab it nice and firmly, don't squeeze it, just strong enough that you're, you're not gonna drop it because then you wanna bring your thumb and your forefinger out. Um, so that these are supported and these are going to do the, the pitzing, the, pl um, the plucking. So after we have that ready, you're going to put your thumb on the fingerboard. I like to put mine on the edge so that I've got maneuverability. If you want to put it here, that's totally fine, but just be weary that you don't hit your head with your bow. So I do it here so that my bow is able to move out. And then I'm able to pluck the string with my first finger. And remember that when you're plucking, as you change strings, your elbow's coming up to support it because it's going to be a little hard and you're going to stretch out these tendons here if you don't allow your arm to support it. So pause and practice the plucking if you need to, going between playing and pizzicato and moving your bow back and forth. Okay, so we've got that figured out. That's great. Now we're going to look at the first phrase here. We have A, 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 A. And that last A is going to be nice and short. Um, I like to sing a little song that one of my teacher friends taught me, which was, let me eat donuts. Okay? And so when we do that phrase, which repeats on different notes, we want to make sure that we pick our bow up. Back to a down bow. Because for the most part, I think almost every single time, every single time, it's going to be a down bow. So that gives us a strong entrance when we have that down bow. So let's play that twice, the Let Me Eat Donuts twice, making sure that we're doing a down bow. Here we go. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Lift. Lift. And then at that point you'll be playing the B flat. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me turn my music back on here. Um, this starts pretty quickly. We get four beats and then we start. So I'd like for you to go ahead Playing position, sitting up nice and straight in your chair with your fingers hovering over the B flat note because you're going to start on A and then you're going to go to B flat. So when you have your A ready with your pinky nice on top and your bow ready, I'll start. Okay. Looks good. Okay, here we go. Let me start the music over. Low 
short long. Do a nice up bow. Good. Lift. B flat. Open A. B flat. B flat A. Good. Now pizzicato A. Nice job! So when you're playing this, make sure that you're paying attention to how short those notes are. Let me eat donuts, because then there's two beats of rest. So let's play that one more time. I'm not going to say anything, and we're going to do it perfectly. Um, notice as well that when we have our pizzicato section, it says piano, which means a little bit quieter, and there's little, little dots, which mean nice and short. So we're going to play those softly, nice and short. Here we go. From the beginning. I'm going to start my music all the way over. Oops, I turned my volume down. Okay. All the way from the beginning. Are you ready? Everything's ready on my end. I'm going to count to four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Nice job, guys. 